the SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water, the junior novelization. Chapter 12. When SpongeBob saw his pineapple home, he gasped. It had been severely damaged by a wandering mob, and for some reason it was covered in gooey snail slime. Where was SpongeBob's beloved pet snail? Scare Bear? SpongeBob called. A blob of snail slime dripped onto SpongeBob's head. Ugh, revolting! Plankton said. But it means Gary is close by! SpongeBob observed, ever hopeful. Gary, I'm back! When they walked into the broken house, they suddenly stopped, shocked by what they saw. Whoa! SpongeBob said. The house was filled with snails. Big snails, small snails, snails of every color and description. And they were all looking respectfully at... Gary! SpongeBob's pet snail was sitting on a giant throne, surrounded by pillars and huge fire pits. Oh, hey, Gary! SpongeBob exclaimed happily. Plankton and I need your help. Need you to help us find the Krabby Patty formula and fix Bikini Bottom. Meow, Gary said. What do you mean you don't have to do as I say anymore? Meow. What do you mean, King of the Snails? Looking stern, SpongeBob folded his arms. Gary, the snail, you get down here right now and join this team. Meow. What do you mean, seize them? All the snails who had been paying their respects to Gary, the king of the snails, turned to Spongebob and Plankton. Then they advanced on them with their fangs bared, growling. Spongebob turned and ran out of the pineapple house as fast as he could. Why are you running? Plankton asked. Because they're right on our... He looked back to see the snails moving very, very slowly. Oh, right, Spongebob said, slowing his pace. Snails. The two unlikely partners strolled away from P Spongebob's house. Well, so much for your team, Plankton said. <laughs> Playing together team is a lot harder than I thought it would be, Spongebob admitted. Nearby, Mr. Krabs shouted, This way! The angry mob was still on their tail. We better get out of here until things cool off, Plankton said. That night, high on a ridge overlooking Bikini Bottom, Plankton and Spongebob looked down at their hometown. They could see fires burning in the darkness. Everything we know and love has been destroyed, Spongebob said sadly. Looks like they're going to have to change the name of Bikini Bottom to Dirty Bottom. <laughs> Plankton said chuckling. <laughs> right, Spongebob? Spongebob wrinkled his nose and frowned. It's a little gross, Plankton. Yeah, Plankton said. Yeah, too soon, huh? Spongebob stared into the distance. This really feels like it really is the end. Don't worry, Spongebob, Plankton reassured him. We'll find the secret formula and everything will go back to the way it was, you know, all happy and junk. He pushed a rock towards Spongebob. Now let's try to get some sleep. Yeah, I guess you're right, Spongebob said, laying his head on the rock. Plankton pulled a blanket of seaweed over Spongebob. There you are, he said. Feeling comfy? You know, Plankton, Spongebob said sleepily. I think you might know a little bit, a little bit more about teamwork than you let on. Good night, Spongebob. Good night, Plankton. <laughs> Exhausted from the day, Spongebob instantly fell into a deep sleep. Plankton let out an evil little chuckle. <laughs> Good night indeed, he said to himself. He crept up onto Spongebob's head. That's right, Spongebob. Sleep! You're hiding that formula in there somewhere. Plankton forced one of Spongebob's holes open and jumped into his head. Stay tuned for chapter 13, coming up soon.